Richard Thornley here, and I think I've actually come up with an idea for an open-ended lab that no one's done before, uh, involving salt and some pseudoscience. I've got a new job, new school. Look, they've even given me a, a zip line. The biggest pores in our body are on your feet, and those are connected to meridians that are pretty much the filters of your body. They're what collects toxins. With that being said, this ray sends a current into those pores, and depending on the toxins you release, are what color is what color the water is going to turn. By adding the salt water, you'll be able to release more toxins because it'll put your pH at norm. So now it's at a 2.1, so you're going to be able to release more toxins. So let's put some salt in, just like the lady did in her experiment. And some, well, let's use distilled water. Now the electrodes are iron. Uh, I looked it up on the internet to see what was actually inside that mysterious white container. Now, let's apply some electricity. From, uh, I've done this a few times now, and it seems that, well, that's not going to do anything. Much more than 12 volts, and it starts to get a bit exciting. Oh, hold on. Plug in this here. It might actually have a current. There we go. So I'm going to put it on about 10 volts. I've gone up to half an amp and you can start to feel the tingling. So those settings seem to be about as much as you'd need to use. And now let's observe what's going on. Instead of putting my feet in, I'm going to put my fingers in. Steady it there. Oh, wow. There's some green. Apparently that's bile. Now this is supposedly the toxins coming out of my skin. It's different each time I do it. Not because of the toxins I feel. Sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's green. And if you leave it long enough, it will actually turn brown. So this is my suggestion for an experiment that you can do with the kids. You could set this up as a demo and then ask them to try to work out or extract some truth from this, from this uh, aqua detox. And you can touch the wires, that's okay. You can bridge them, that's okay. I don't feel anything. It's still switched on. If the kids touch the wires together, you might get a little spark. Uh, and if your power packs aren't that good, that might have to be reset. Yeah, touch it, touch it, no trouble, nothing, can't feel anything. Okay, so I've jumped forward five minutes, that's supposed to be five fingers, and you can see now brown has appeared, which is supposed to be maybe even faecal toxins in this aqua detox uh, scam science thing. So this is a good lab for kids because they can, hold on, oh, what can they do? Uh, it's a good lab for kids because they can uh, do observations before, during, after. Uh, you can, uh, the smarter ones will notice the bubbles coming off and uh, which colour the bubbles are and which electrode they're coming off of. That's also good. Uh, they need to change one thing and do a series of experiments. Normally I can get about six done in an hour, six different experiments, maybe change the electrodes, maybe change the salt, the concentration. Uh, I had done it at schools where it was a little bit sparky, so maybe your power packs would be a little bit too sparky, a little bit. So I'd advise you to try it uh, before you actually just give it to the kids if you're going to try it. Oh, I messed that bit up, so let's try again. The green material is hydrated iron 2 chloride. The yellow material, not urea, it's uh, iron 3 chloride, hydrated. And the brown stuff is iron 3 hydroxide, a form of rust. Back to our show. <coughs> That's not 
feces, of course, that's uh, iron hydroxide, basically a form of rust. Uh, if you do try this with the kids, let me know how it works. Cheers.